Oh, the little blap at the end. Oh, yeah. What is with cats and plastic? They just love to eat that. Especially if it's like a plastic bag. They're just like, yes, let me eat it. Maybe it's the crinkly nature to it that makes them go crazy. But yeah, zoomies out of nowhere. The first time you experience those are terrifying. Cat just up and goes, and the tail is all curled up at the back, and they're just like, Neh. and they go sideways like a crab. I thought BB was having a stroke the first time he did it. Dreading the news every day. It was RTE news. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, God. Oh, it's maybe choking my coffee. Jesus. I, oh, man. Tommy Tiernan. A very famous Irish comedian. What's he up to these days? Two of his comedy specials when I was younger, I lost my mind laughing at them. I wonder if it'd still be funny if I watched them again. This is what it's like to watch the news, though. I, I make it a habit to never watch news. I, I'm inundated with it on social media, but I never ever watch news because it's literally just this. Oh, I feel this so much. themselves with the same songs one of my favorite ones with that song is this one on all their health. Pretty epic. <laughs> oh, that's good. What a good filter. TikTok's got all the good filters. I don't have to use TikTok to get the filters. There's one of them. Oop. My bad. Wait, you can sit in it? <gasps> oh, what the hell? This is not okay. Oh, wait. I can. That was not okay. Did this move? No. On our day, like nothing happened. Look at that. Are they dabbing? A bullet? Why? Okay, then. Oh, I dropped it. Yep, there.
chests? Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ears. I'll read it. Some little kids here. The scream are too much at night. Oh, Miss Peach might be here. Hold on. Okay, that note was here. The scream, uh, the scream are too much at night. I told the doctor I couldn't stand it at anymore. He helped me. I can't hear the screams anymore. It's a shame I have no, I have no longer ears. Well, no ears. Is that okay? What is that? That wasn't even scary. But okay. What is this for? Oh, five. <laughs> Attack damage. That's sad. Yeah, let's not do that. Oh, those are some cool looking. Oh, my bad. Oh. Knife. I'm in danger. At night. That wasn't me. I have a knife. Don't mess with me. I'll hit you with it. Oh, my bad. No ears. That's weird. Hey, look. I'm in danger. Nothing? Okay. Okay. Dear Diary, I don't have that anymore. I only have one finger left. But the chef told me if I don't give him my fingers, John will come. I don't want John to come. John is a bad man. The hell? The fuck? Not okay.
Why? Hold on. What does this do? Oh, it's a diamond pickaxe. What the? Oh, please, go find your inhaler, quick. God, my throat hurts listening to that. Lungs. Advice you didn't ask for that I'm gonna give is don't scare people. <laughs> I absolutely appreciate her commitment to the bit though. Don't scare people. <laughs> Face, Jesus. She could have just stopped at a loud noise. Shut no. it! Commitment to the bit. Respect. in their backyard and like claps together to as a sign of solidarity for the NHS and all the people on the front lines working to fight the virus right now. It looks like if Harry Styles was going to make TikTok videos about clapping for the NHS. I like big boys. Itty bitty boys. Oh yeah baby. I like a pretty boy with a bow tie. Get your nails beat. Let it blow back. I like big boys. Itty bitty boys. I want a ferret. I was going to say it. 
or a weasel. Whatever they are. Whatever that is. I want it. I keep seeing them and they look so cute. But I know that they would be really annoying as pets. Because they would get everywhere. They're too smart for their own good. And I'd lose them constantly. I would be able to make cute little videos like this. Boys, itty bitty boys. Mississippi boys and the city boys. I like the pretty yeah. boys. With the bow tie. Well, this must be a little bit of a Oh, that's me. Wow, that's so nice. I didn't know it was going to be me. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Also, there's a voice clip of me going around TikTok that... Thank you for being here. And then sad music plays. I don't know why that ended up on TikTok. But we were watching a compilation in bed one night. And then suddenly my voice came up and I was like, the fuck? We're on the, we've been summoned to the house of vibes for your vibe check. Stick to your name. I'm the year 2020. <laughs> not a vibe. Not a vibe. Wait, how am I not a vibe? <laughs> you gave us a global pandemic. Technically 2019 gave you that. Australian wildfires. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Killed Kobe Bryant. Ooh. And you didn't even give us a Rihanna album. Not a vibe. Not a vibe. <laughs> We're only three months in. There's still time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's just this year. It's not a vibe. Not a vibe indeed. Guys, I'm sorry. You were supposed to be our year. <laughs> Where's your 2020 vision? I, I've seen enough. 2020. You have brought hateration and holleration into the story. <laughs> and it's only been three months. You have unequivocally and without a doubt failed the fight. Please, I gave you the weekend album. Not a vibe! Not a vibe! You have brought hateration and holleration. A great voice. That was a good one. I like that a lot. Lots of character. Lots of lots of that was a vibe. That right there, that was definitely a vibe. State your name. Well, hey there, all you cool cat kittens. It's uh, Carol Baskin from Kid Cat Rescue. And is it true, Carol, that you murdered your husband? Well, that just isn't true. We've seen the documentary, Carol. So? You killed your husband. And killing your husband is not a vibe. Not a vibe. Not a vibe. A meow, meow. <sighs> All I did was knock him out, cover him in sardine oil, and put him in a tiger cage, meow meow. <coughs> At least that's what I would have done if I killed him. What? Was that your laugh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's crazy! Not a vibe! Not a vibe! I am a vibe, okay? I save endangered animals. Yeah, but you fed your husband to them! <laughs> so afraid! Carol Baskin! You put hateration and holleration into the dance. And thus have failed the vibe check! Oh. Bring me the sardine oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's a good one. It's a good format because it has so much character. And every time it's like, oh, this character is the one that says this thing. You have brought hateration and holleration, not a vibe. All right, all you cool cats and kittens. That's the end of the comedy time. The fun is over. But those were some decent TikToks. I expected better, though. I expected you guys who were out there perusing the internet all day, every day, coming up with the best TikToks around. She would have made me laugh even harder. So, let's do this again sometime and get your TikToks in order. This is going to be on the exam. I'm going to come back to you in uh, on the f first slide of the fifth day. Look to the east or else you will fail the vibe check in the dancery. Not a vibe! But TikTok's improving. A lot of the stuff that's on there is actually getting pretty funny right now. And I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't die off and close down the way Vine did, RIP. But until next time, stay ticking and stay talking all day long. Can't wait to see how many companies come after me to copyright this video. Okay, bye! <laughs>
I am very good at these. I have never failed a riddle in my entire life. You know how I be. You know I'm out here with the biggest, roundest, best brain of all. It's very coveted. I'm starting to sound like a certain person on Twitter right now. I'm in the mood to have my brain teased and tweezed and bounced around. So let's do some riddles. This uh, YouTube channel uploads all of these riddles. Uh, if you want to go see some of them for yourself, uh, go check them out. Seven second riddles since I'm using their footage for this video. So hopefully that's okay. Who's the fake? Eight out of ten can't guess the country. No, I want some. I, let's go to their, their most popular. Fourteen brain teasers that'll force your brain to work. We'll see. I don't think my brain has worked a day of its entire life. Seven second riddles, what up? Okay, which would you choose? A, smart but ugly. B, rich but stupid. C, sexy but poor. Uh, 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 smart but ugly. She's not ugly, she's very cute. Is this seven seconds? This feels like a lot longer than seven seconds. If you choose A, you don't take quick decisions and prefer to consider all your options. I would object to that, considering that it's a seven second riddle, which means that all decisions are quick. Also, that's not a riddle. <laughs> that's, a, that's a preference. <laughs> that's a subjective decision. Your emotional state is what's important for you. Thank you. Not only do I have a massive, very muscular brain, I also have very muscular emotions. Okay, a man suspected of smuggling drugs often flies the same routes. Okay. The police check him over and over again. They're up his ass. They're up his ass. That's my answer. Final answer, lock it in, they're up his ass. The suspect carries the same items every time. They're up his ass. A new detective read the list and immediately guessed where to look for the drugs. Were they up his ass? I don't know. Well, up their ass is like the perfectly reasonable, honest answer. But I guess in the toothpaste. Or what is this? A clam? To the clam. The tube of toothpaste. That was up his ass. The suspect never carries a toothbrush. Yeah, that's, what, that, uh, that's exactly my reasoning. That's exactly why I picked that. Have you ever been one of those people that goes to the airport? Probably not anymore. You can't go to airports right now. It's a very dangerous place. But when I used to go to airports in the long time ago, in the long, long ago, have you ever been one of those people that has no drugs on you? You have nothing in your suitcase that's dangerous. You are just going on a nice trip to somewhere inconsequential so nothing can go wrong. But for some reason you're convinced there's a bag of cocaine up your bum. I'm always like that. You get to customs and they're like, any fruit or veg, cocaine, all up in me. You take your partner's infidelity. All right. Oh, I call them honey. So boring to have dinner without you. There's two glasses of wine. I nailed it immediately. Two glasses of wine. She either has somebody over or she just doubled up. Ah! My brain so wrinkled. Can you take your partner's infidelity? Okay, here we go. Going to watch football. I can see the reflection of someone on his lap in the TV. Come on. What is that? His blow-up doll? God, these people out here being so dumb. They probably have smooth brain. They probably don't have massive wrinkle like I do. What is my quarantine hair doing? I don't know. It's taking on a life of its own. Can you spot my partner's infidelity? Apparently I'm spotting cheaters. Can you spot your partner's infidelity? There's a bra up there. I have a lot of work. I mean, you do. What is going on, man? I know a good bra when I see one. There's something under the bed. I see something under the bed. I've played horror games before. I can sense the things under the bed. <laughs> oh, God. That's freaky. Edward Cullen, what are you doing under there? All right, what's going on in this one? Uh, urgently going to New York for business. Then why are you bringing a basketball with you? Oh, God, I don't know. There's a shield. 